Hello, and welcome to Hidden Mysteries with Stuntman Mike. There have been many disasters in history. There's been the Hindenburg, the sinking of the Titanic, and the newest mystery we will delve into today, the theft of the NWO Television Championship. December 2015, robbery, theft, and corruption. These are the things that happened at the final episode of MWO Showdown Live. I have a list compiled of all those involved in this heinous crime. Now before we get into that, we will delve into the backstory of the championship. A great man, a wonderful man, Stuntman Mike, friend to the crowd, most popular wrestler in the world, won on a momentous occasion the MWO television title. He won it with ease, there was applause, and everyone was happy and all was well. As long as he was the flagship of the company, there could be nothing wrong. Then, tragedy struck in December of 2015, when Laura Phoenix, along with Positive Promotion members J.J. Hughes, Jesse Brown, and Mr. Positive, interfered and cost him his title. Also involved in this crime was a referee named Dan Tanner. This referee, whom Stuntman Mike had never wronged, felt the urge to interfere in his match and cost him his title. This was supposed to be an unbiased official who, who abused his position in order to cause a defeat, which is just not right. I'm sure you, gracious audience, know this in your hearts. There is also an announcer, a man who was supposed to sit and do commentary, who felt the urge to get involved and also not only cost him his title to sneakily attack him. Once again, a man who Stuntman Mike had never wronged in his life. Let's fast forward after this horrible, tragic event. Does Stuntman Mike get his rematch? No, he does not. Though, in the wrestling guidelines, he is supposed to be the first one to fight for his former title. A title that should never have been Laura Phoenix's. A title that was stolen, and nobody 
ever did anything about it. A travesty. Who got the title shot? Rex Havoc. Rex Havoc, who up until then was her paramour. Him and Laura Phoenix were inseparable. But somehow, he gets the match and she loses it to him. Is this coincidence? I think you know the answer. Then, after Stuntman Mike pleads his case to the board of officials, explains the guidelines and that his match that Rex Havoc had should have been Stuntman Mike's, he's granted his match. They say, don't worry, Stuntman Mike, you will have your title shot. Unfortunately, it's got to be against Rex Havoc because he won the title from Laura Phoenix. Stuntman Mike was a fighting champion. He says, yes, I will fight this man in order to win what is rightfully mine. Would have been easier to fight Laura Phoenix. This he knows. But since she pretty much gave him the title, Stuntman Mike would do what he had to do. But, strangely, Laura Phoenix attacks him on, in February 2016, rendering him incapable of showing up. However, a strange coincidence in my notes here, Laura Phoenix also did not show up there. And you know who else was missing conspicuously? Dan Tanner, the referee that they had in their pocket. They were scared of Stuntman Mike. They know that he knows what they were up to. He knows the conspiracy behind the scenes to keep him from what is rightfully his and to keep him down. That is not right. I've got loads of research, names, numbers, documentation. I have proof that they have ridden in the same car before to shows, all of them. Many of these people are childhood friends. I have in here the most, most substantial evidence of all. I have proof of what is going on right here. This man. This man is the mad puppet master pulling the strings. He is the cause of all the problems. The others, they are just pawns in his little game. He's telling them, move this way, Rook. Move this way, Knight. He is dictating all of this just to hurt Stuntman Mike for no reason. This man must be stopped. Look. Look at his beady little eyes. Look at the smirk on his face of satisfaction. Is this the, the look of an innocent man? Don't be fooled by his playing to the crowd as an innocent, happy, fun-loving goofball. He is evil personified. We have to do what we can to stop this. I'm counting on all of you to do the right thing. You can see the writing on the walls when they're finished with me. If you don't act, who's going to be next? Just think about that. And thank you for watching the first episode of Hidden Mysteries with Stuntman Mike. Join me next week when we'll tackle another subject that has been going on in the shadows just out of your reach.